Silicon 2, Fluorine 2, Hydrogen 2. Firstly, we're going to calculate the total amount of valence electrons in this molecule. There are 8 from the 2 silicons, 14 from the 2 fluorines, and 2 from the hydrogens, all equaling 24 valence electrons in this whole molecule. Next, we're going to calculate the number of bonds needed to satisfy this molecule. To do this, we're first going to divide the total number of valence electrons by 2 to get 12 total pairs. Then we're going to subtract the total number of unshared pairs from the total pairs. The unshared pairs are the pairs of electrons already in the molecule. There are three in the separate fluorine atoms, and since there are two fluorine atoms, there are six unshared pairs. In doing this, we get six bonds. From here, we are now able to start our Lewis dot structure. I'm going to start with my central atoms, which are the two silicons. Then I'm going to draw the valence electrons around them. In doing this, I form a valence electron pair. This pair of valence electrons can now be formed into a bond between the two silicon atoms. Similarly, I'm going to place the two hydrogens on top of the two silicons. Because the hydrogen only has one valence electron, it is able to bond with the single silicon electrons on top of it. Then I'm going to place the two fluorines on the sides. With the two valence electrons on the inside facing the single pair, I'm going to swap that with the single valence electrons on the outside. By moving the electron pair to the outside and the single electron to the inside, this forms an electron pair between the fluorine and silicon, creating a bond. I'm going to do this to the other side so it creates another bond. Now I'm going to check each of the atoms. The two fluorines have eight valence electrons which satisfy the rule of octet. The two silicons, however, only have seven. Six for the three bonds, which have two valence electrons each and one remaining valence electron. To fix this, I'm going to create a double bond by moving the two single electrons from each silicon to create a pair of valence electrons. This forms a bond between the two silicons and allows each silicon atom to satisfy the rule of octet. Now we have a total of six bonds with each atom satisfying the rule of octet. This excludes hydrogen because hydrogen follows the rule of duet, only needing two valence electrons to be satisfied. With all of this in mind, we finally completed the Lewis dot structure for silicon 2, fluorine 2, hydrogen 2. Permanganate, or manganese oxygen 4 with a negative charge. Again, I'm going to start off by drawing the basic outline of manganese and oxygen. Manganese has 7 valence electrons and oxygen has 6. Because manganese is a transition metal, it's going to have special properties that affect the way that we calculate the bonds needed to satisfy this molecule. Manganese has 7 valence electrons. This means that there are 7 bonds needed to satisfy this molecule. Again, I'm going to start with the central atom, which is manganese, and draw the 7 surrounding valence electrons. Next, I'm going to draw the 4 oxygen atoms around the manganese. To start drawing the bonds, I'm going to use the only side of manganese that does not have an electron pair. Next, I'm going to draw the six surrounding valence electrons for oxygen. Because there's a pair of valence electrons on the inside and there's one single valence electron on the outside, I'm going to switch these so that the pair can be on the outside and the single valence electron on the inside can bond with the manganese. Now I'm going to change all of these valence electron pairs into bonds. Now I'm going to draw the rest of the valence electrons on the remaining oxygen atoms. Because there are seven bonds needed to satisfy this molecule, and we only have four, we're going to have to change the valence electron pairs around to create double bonds. With this pair of valence electrons already on the bottom oxygen molecule, this can form into a bond between manganese and oxygen, creating a double bond. Moving on to the next oxygen atom, I'm going to switch the pair of valence electrons to the inside and the single valence electron to the outside. This pair of valence electrons can now form a bond between manganese and oxygen, which creates a double bond. Now I'll do the exact same to the top oxygen atom to form another double bond. Now we have seven bonds and the molecule is satisfied. Making sure each atom keeps the same amount of valence electrons, I'm going to switch the places of the valence electrons to form pairs, making the diagram look neater. Now that our structure is refined and neat and has seven bonds, I'm going to go back and check if each atom fulfills the rule of octet. Because manganese is a transition metal and does not follow the rule of octet, we will only be worrying about the oxygen atoms. There are eight valence electrons in the three of the oxygen atoms, but only seven in the last oxygen atom. To complete this last oxygen atom, I'm going to add an atmospheric electron. 
Adding this atmospheric electron is what gives this whole molecule its negative charge. Lastly, to signify that we've added this atmospheric electron, I'm going to draw brackets around this whole molecule and draw a negative sign in the top right corner. Now we finish the Lewis dot structures for silicon 2, fluorine 2, hydrogen 2, and manganese oxygen 4 with a negative charge.